Uh, hello, everybody. good morning, everyone. Hey, hey. Where should I stand? Uh, are you standing there? <laughs> okay, uh, so. Um, this was supposed to be just like a, you know, like a quick DevCon announcement, which could have been done just by a tweet. <laughs> so I'm very grateful for ETH Denver to give us this spot early in the morning. Um, but uh, because they gave us this stage um, and a little bit of time, um, I want to talk a little bit about DevCon first. Uh, DevCon to me, uh, before even joining the Ethereum Foundation, I was in the crypto industry, and then I was going to DevCon, um, and the DevCon was something very special, something that made me, um, you know, like feel the uniqueness and the difference of Ethereum. And I don't know what's DevCon to you, but that was DevCon to me. So this year, actually not this year, <laughs> two years ago, after we finished DevCon uh, 5, Osaka DevCon, that I told our DevCon team, hey, we should really, you know, like think about the values of DevCon and why we need this, why the community need this when there are many other amazing community events like ETH Denver happening in the community. So they discussed the values of DevCon and everything and that, you know, like what is the uniqueness, who is the audience, and that also the de design and everything that reflects those. And hopefully we will give you that in this next DevCon and the Skyler, the lead, DevCon team lead, is going to talk a little, uh, little bit about this with me today. Cool, awesome, thanks Aya. Um, so how many, there's a lot of new faces here. You're right, she's right, we could have announced some of the stuff we're gonna announce today just through a tweet, but I'm curious, how many people here have been to DevCon before, Ethereum Foundation DevCon? Raise your hands, raise your hands. Okay, how many people have heard of a DevCon before? Heard of DevCon, okay, okay, so maybe like half? which is, I think, surprising, but also maybe not. Like, there's a lot of new faces here. Happy to, happy to see everybody. Um, and yeah, today I guess we want to talk a little bit about what is DevCon, but before jumping into that, maybe like why, why we host DevCon. And, and I'd say like, I, maybe I'm preaching to the choir here, but I would say that Ethereum is its community, right? Like the community, all of you here listen, listening right now, uh, the hackers upstairs building, building the next generation of the projects, building on top of the protocol, uh, all of you online right now listening to us, like the community is what makes this project tick. It's what the Ethereum community is what separates it from, from I would say other projects that may exist in this space. Uh, and I would say what's super unique about our community in comparison to other industries is that we are like extremely distributed around the world. Like that's not news to anybody here. Most of us have worked, uh, I mean, especially in these last two years, but even aside from a pandemic, like this community is by nature super distributed, very remote. We mostly work with our other colleagues just looking at their headshot, maybe their PFP, uh, and, and we don't really get to interact with them on a day-to-day -day basis most of the times, I'd say, in our industry. Uh, which gives a lot of opportunity and flexibility for us to work and collaborate across the world, a lot of different perspectives. But there is something innately human with being able to, to meet with people in person, collaborate, uh, and meet new people sort of um, um, naturally. Uh, and so again, maybe I'm talking to the people here who, who are all at an in-person event, so you guys are already aware. So maybe I should be talking to the people up there listening on, on the live stream that in-person events are important for our community, for collaboration, and for progress. And so uh, that's one thing that we aim to achieve with DevCon. The other thing being that uh, it is for the builders. So it is for those who are building, those who are constructing, developing on top of Ethereum or using Ethereum, uh, and for, for researchers, for, for, for economists, for social, uh, um, uh, maybe game theorists, and designers, etc. Basically everyone except for maybe the traders who are just looking for a number to go up, uh, is what we try to accommodate and, and try to, to um, 
to have programming and content for at DevCon. Uh, and so uh, that's a little bit about why we do DevCon, what it is. DevCon is essentially like a massive venue. Thousands of people from around our global community come together, reunite, collaborate, listen to programming, or give programming, speak about certain things that they're working on. It's a fairly technical conference. Uh, and every year, it rotates around the globe. We try to bring it to different places around the globe to give access to new communities, but also to bring our global community to new places around the world to give us new perspectives and to, to help spur that community a little bit to grow. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about what DEF CON is. It's four days, uh, a four-day conference. Uh, but the whole entire week extends to be about 10 days, more or less. Uh, this year, there will be an ETH Global Hackathon beforehand, uh, as well as many other events that happen throughout the entire week. Um, so we're excited to finally announce some updates with regards to, to DevCon, some long-awaited updates. Uh, and I'll hand it over to Ayev to do so. You were very quick. Um, so <laughs> The, well, in addition to that, speaking of other amazing communities events like ETH Denver, um, that is DevCon is kind of like a homecoming event or the week for everyone. DevCon is an experience. And um, for example, like the organizers of these events, they can, they can all come together to, to DevCon and enjoy the week together instead of like having to worry about or organizing. So it's also a way for us, for, for everyone to say thank you to those organizers once in a year. And okay, so now we are <laughs> going to, so we already shared that the place, do you remember where DevCon is happening this year? Okay. <laughs> I heard some other cities. But yes, Bogota. And one thing you don't know yet is the date. Uh, it's been very, very tough two years. Um, we didn't want to postpone, but we had to. And finally, uh, we are able to say, we've been saying like somewhere around this time, but we have the date, finally. <laughs> Thank you. And I guess this is, a, this is yes, DevCon Bogota, October 11 to 14th, 2022. So we made the decision, <laughs> and this is when you are all getting together. We are all getting together, all of us, organizers of everything and builders. And this is it. So I hope you're going to get ready. <laughs> we have some time until October. And who knows what is going to happen. But we made the decision. So we will work toward October. And. Speaking of Bogota and Skyder, I will cool. let you talk. So who, who here has been to Colombia before? Who has, who has been to Colombia? There's actually there's a decent number of hands up, up in the audience. Uh, I myself actually lived in Bogota for, for like the last like six months or so. Um, but we chose to bring DevCon to Bogota. Uh, well, first of all, like a little bit about Bogota. Bogota is the capital city of Colombia. It's one of the most popular uh, and lively cities in, in South America. It's also fairly easy to get to in terms of flights from around the world. Uh, and it's full of art, full of history, full of flavor, full of, full of experience. It's, it's a very lively city if you have never been. Uh, and it's, it's very fun. And so we're excited to, to bring DevCon to uh, Bogota. Whenever we decide on a location, it is extremely difficult. There's a lot of good locations around the world to host a DevCon, and choosing the one that we go with is difficult. But we are very, very excited about bringing DevCon to Bogota, Colombia, uh, and the impact it can happen. It can have not just on Bogota, not just on Colombia, but also all of Latin America. Uh, and so I can talk a little bit more about the the impact that we aim to bring for for Latin America in general through DevCon. So I've been personally been very excited about Latin America in general. And the reason why is that is, but I've been also talking about how to bring Ethereum to next billion. And next billion meaning um, 
So th three out of four babies that are born today are from developing countries, and that I fully believe those are the next billion users and also next billion builders. And so we do, we do need to, and then there are a lot of communities who are still like underdiscovered in those areas, um, um, unless we actually really try to engage with them. So that's why that's been uh, one of my personal focus, but also uh, something like DevCon can bring like you to the, to the new experience. So that, and that's one reason, but also there are, like I said, there are communities and also the countries there are, uh, they don't have all systems that they have to break and then rebuild. So that's, that's actually really good. Um, for example, like the regulatory situations, they don't have like fixed systems yet. And, and then so I call it that, that it's, it's kind of like a natural sandbox um, for people to be able to build and experiment things without you know, being restricted. So that's very important for Ethereum because a lot of things are still at the experimental stage. And that's how I believe uh, it's important to you know, take a look at those regions. And in Colombia, Bogota, not just Colombia actually going to, this is the first DevCon in South America. And all the, all the people in Latin America are very excited, including we have strong community in Argentina. So they're gonna be you know, like a help us build DevCon together, and then there are other communities like happening. And then you hear the news about how crypto is, is becoming like, you know, like a, a, the mainstream thing in, in many countries around there. Cool. Yeah. And, and so talking about like the impact that DevCon can bring, get choosing a location to bring DevCon, and not just DevCon, but the global Ethereum community to a certain place, uh, in, in Bogota, in Colombia, uh, and around, we saw a seed for a, a, a seed of a, sw a small community that, with a little bit of support, could could really um, uh, grow. And so, just since announcing DevCon in Bogota, which has been admittedly like two years ago, we've seen multiple individuals, groups, organizations start to rally around this announcement, get excited, and start to form their own uh, their own um, uh, meetups or groups, basically to spread education around what Ethereum is, why it's important uh, in Colombia and beyond. And so here we see Ethereum Colombia, Ethereum uh, Ethereum Caribe, Ethereum Bogota. Uh, and also neighboring Ethereum Caracas has been super active, and Ethereum Lima and others. So we're aiming not to just bring DevCon to, uh, to Bogota, Colombia specifically, but to Latin America as a whole. Uh, and yeah, next. And lastly, I guess, what would DevCon be without an amazing venue? Uh, so, who, so those of you who are at DevCon uh, 5 in Prague, uh, how was the Wi-Fi? What, what Wi-Fi? What Wi-Fi is what I hear. Uh, so, okay, we've, we, one, of the, one of the criteria for this year's DEF CON was we want to find an awesome venue, and a, a venue that's state-of-the-art, that's new, uh, that can fit everybody, that everyone can fit in these rooms so that we don't have people uh, waiting for elevators to go up and down. And so this is what we found with uh, the Agora venue in Bogota. So we're super excited to bring everyone there um, to a very, very new state-of-the-art venue. Uh, and then what's next? Uh, yeah, so we're excited to see everybody in Bogota uh, in uh, October 11th to 14th uh, for DevCon. But for those of you who are saying that that's a long time away, don't you worry. We've been working on something new. Uh, mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, I'll stop. Uh, DevConnect is what we've been working on. Who, who here has heard of DevConnect? Cool, right on. Okay, so less people have heard of DevConnect than DevCon, but that's fair because this is a new event that we are planning for uh, April. And what, yeah. So what DevConnect is, 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 is a little bit different. DevCon is great, great for, for cross-collaboration of ideas 
uh, between silos. Dev, DevCon is, um, is, is basically one massive venue with a bunch of different people and a bunch of different back backgrounds. And so when you have that, uh, you can start to work and learn from different silos. But this Ethereum community, Ethereum ecosystem, has grown so large, so broad, that making concrete progress in one specific area, one specific domain at a big conference like this, or like the others that have happened throughout the Ethereum ecosystem, is is quite a challenge nowadays. It's quite a challenge. And so with DevConnect, what we're aiming to do is foster and encourage these depth-first conversations. So these, these depth-first uh, discussions. And what that means is basically it will be a, uh, a, a week-long event series um, where there will be many different independent events happening throughout a week in Amsterdam in, from April 18th to 25th. So the events you see here is just a glimpse of the event calendar that we have today. Uh, and all of these events essentially are independent events organized by uh, experts in those domains, uh, teams, projects, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, and the idea is to have uh, attendees that attend these events that are super interested in that topic. Uh, and so what that means is that you see a bunch of overlapping events. You'll come to DevConnect, you'll have to choose uh, in advance, which events you're most interested in attending, which topics you're most interested in attending, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to uh, attend these events at, with like-minded people who are working in similar domains as you. Uh, and throughout the entire week, the only thing we, the DevConnect team, uh, are working on and organizing officially is a co-working space that will be open to all. But there won't be any programming there. It'll just be a place to hang out, to collaborate, to work, uh, etc. And all the other events will be programmed individually. Um, so that's happening April 18th to 25th this year. It's the first time we're doing it. Uh, so hope to see many of you there. And I guess how can you get involved? So I guess you can attend as attendee. And if you want to attend, go to devconnect.org, look at the various events that you'd like to attend, and figure out how they're ticketing it. Uh, some of these events might be small 25 to 50 person uh, events of like a, a whitelisted group of experts in this topic, or it might be more public of like a small 300 person uh, event where, where application based or tickets are publicly for sale. Um, so it's on you to find the events that you're interested in and secure the tickets. Uh, or Maybe you are a leader or a, um, uh, an expert in a certain domain, and you see a need to gather others who are also working in this domain together and, and collaborate, maybe in a day-long workshop or a day-long presentation session or a multi-day. Uh, and so if you're interested in hosting an event, what do you need to do? Just do it. Just do it. It's what's cool about this event is there's no, there is permissionless, more or less. There's no whitelist, okay? So if you want to host an event, just organize the event, do it yourself, publicize it, let us know. And if it's Ethereum ethos aligned, we will happily add it to the calendar and help you guys help you publicize it. So that's what we're aiming for with DevConnect. It's a little bit of a different event. DevCon is still our main principal event of the year. We're excited to meet everyone and see everyone again in, 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 uh, in Bogota in October. Uh, but until then, we're looking forward to, to Amsterdam uh, as one of our next events. And uh, yeah, do you want to talk? So um, we, uh, a little bit adding to that at DevConnect, actually that was requested by our researchers and then since the merge is happening, there are a lot of important conversations that need to happen and it's magic of normally like getting together at DevCon that they, they wanted to create that sooner. <laughs> so that was another reason, but so hopefully we will have a lot of a very important meaningful discussion that always make the progress of the platform layer, but also maybe more, more than that. Um, in the end, since, you know, like uh, this is not a talk talk, <laughs> like I normally do, and then you might feel like, oh, this, is, this wasn't really entertaining. Um, I'm gonna bring someone that is very, very important to me, and <laughs> someone who actually, um, I was tweeting about this, but on the way to Denver, I was cleaning up my phone, and I discovered my old notes, and that I <laughs> found this first ever, I never do this, like long message to invite this person to perform at DevCon Plug, <laughs> and I was probably very desperate. Um, 
and he has been like 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 a, of course bit advocator of NFT before anyone was talking about NFT since 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 the day before and we met at a very tiny NFT event in San Francisco and and then I really enjoyed having him at Devcon Plague. I'm pretty sure you did too. 